Elkin has the day off. And sheriff's deputies in Midland County arrested a man in connection to the murder of an El Paso woman. Investigators say 25-year-old Sapphire Armanta died after her body was set on fire. She was found dead in Midland on November 2nd. After two weeks of searching today, 37-year-old Sergio Antonio Serna was arrested and accused of murdering her. Serna was being held at the Reeves County Jail on a felony charge of having possession of a controlled substance. ABC 7's Brianna Perez spoke to the family last week about the death of their loved one, and also she spoke with the Center Against Sexual and Family Violence. When I sat down to speak with the Armenta family last week about their memories with Sapphire, some members in the family expressed concern about her boyfriend. I kept telling her not to leave, not to leave. And then two days before she died, she called me. And she was crying and crying. And she told me that she wanted to come home, but that her boyfriend wouldn't let her. And I told him, you better leave her alone, you better not touch her. Sapphire's mother told me they are devastated, but not surprised. She says they had a feeling the boyfriend had something to do with it. Sapphire's mom said they had been dating for about seven months, and then within that time, she says Sapphire wanted to come home, but he wouldn't let her. The last time I talked to her, I called her the next day, but she wouldn't answer, then she would answer the phone and hung up. He wouldn't let her talk to me. I showed this video to Jocelyn Avila, an outreach facilitator at the Center Against Sexual and Family Violence. She told me what families dealing with this similar situation should do. You just have to remain supportive. And when they tell you that these, these, these things are happening, you know, never be judgmental or overcritical about the situation. Just be very empathetic and provide resources. Avila explains that most of the resources you will need, the center provides. We have legal advocacy, we have immigration advocacy, therapy, support groups, and lots of other services that cater to your specific needs. Avila says that these services are free of cost, confidential, and can be anonymous. Provide resources, right? That's the main thing. If you are experiencing or suspect someone you know suffering from domestic violence, please reach out to the Center Against Sexual and Family Violence 24-Hour Crisis Hopeline at 915-593-7300.